Hi guys. Since uh, Responsive Site Designer 1.5 been released, you, you probably noticed that a lot of things have been changed. One of the feature has been dropped is uh, jQuery link. jQuery link is uh, no longer provided or included in the RST 1.5. So that means we have to download it manually and uh, import it in our the resources and provide or attach the link to the, our HTML. So in this demo, I'm going to explain briefly what we have to do step by step in order to get uh, jQuery and link into our project and as well jQuery UI tabs. Okay, for this demo, I'm going to add a new row and I'm going to divide in two. So here, we select this column and I'm going to add a container. All right. In the container, I'm going to give ID of tabs. All right. Then I'm going to add an ordered list. An ordered list, I'm going to select an ordered list and reduce into three. Okay, and each of them, each of them, I'm going to rename them. Let's say tab one and as well the rest. Tab two and tab three. All right. Now, again, another list. I'm going to list type. I'm going to select none and for each of these tabs, individual list item, to go to li. Give a class of li. All right. Now, going to reduce their width. And in the position, I'm going to float left. And let me text align sent. I'm sorry. All right. And then in the unordered list, I'm going to give minimum width of, minimum height of, let's say 40 okay that should be good enough and going to give background color so you see here here what is going on something like this and increase the font size for tabs i think it should be good enough all right now I'm going to add paragraphs, large paragraph into the container. Okay. And I'm going to give each of them an ID. I'm to give the first one, I'm going to give an ID of tab one. tab two and tab three. Now that we set the ID for each of them, let's see, we link them. Tab one, we link them to the ID we have created. Hashtag T 
TAB1. Apply. And second one. Hashtag as well. TAB2. And for the third one. TAB hashtag. TAB3. Okay. Now that we have linked our, it will not work in this way. So we have to download jQuery from the jQuery.com. Here is jQuery.com and we will download the latest version from here. Okay, click download and select your desired version of the jQuery from here and download it to locally your computer. Once you have downloaded, we will link it through the resources folder. In the resources folder, in the project root, we will create a folder, GS, stands for JavaScript, and import it to our resources. This is the jQuery 1.12.2. I have downloaded the minimized version. Uh, min version is which is compressed version. I add to in the project resources the second one. Second thing you need to do is jQuery UI. Here is jQuery UI. Okay, this is stand for jQuery UI, and I don't need to download as well as the most stable version is here, which is we need this uh, widgets. So I download the stable version here and download it to my local computer and link it through our project resources. Since I download and unzip this, I only need jQuery UI min JavaScript JS. I only need this for this project. Okay. Now that we add to our resources folder. We need to link it to the, our HTML. In the setting panel here, in the header, we will add jQuery itself first. Make sure this is a stay on top. jQuery itself must be in the top of the head, or if you add to the footer, make sure on the top in the first row. So now jQuery 1.2, 12, sorry, 1.12.2, select and link it to our HTML. Second, we add jQuery UI. jQuery UI mean we add it here. Now, in order to this work, we need to add some script, some function for these tabs to work with these paragraphs. So we go back to the jQuery UI and I go to tabs section here. Okay. This is the simple UI tab. And if we look at the resources sources here in the script version, script section, see script function tabs, tabs until this. Make sure from the script to end of the script, closing script, you copy and paste it here. Now let me check. Yep, this is our jQuery tab. Let me change one of this background colors of here so that you can see. All right, and this and maybe different color for this. Okay, and the first one, let's see with the same yellow color. Something like this. Okay. Check again. Tab one, tab two, tab three. Okay. Uh, this is how we build jQuery UI. Uh, tabs with responsive site designer 1.5. Don't forget to download jQuery and jQuery UI at your resources. Then link them through setting panel here 
and make sure jQuery itself stay on the top in the head or if in case you add to the footer make sure it stays on the top of here here okay hope I explain myself well and thank you for watching